Welcome, Silvain. How are you? Hi, Enzo. Fine, fine. It, it, uh, it's exactly the call I received from uh, Don Henry when to participate. So I, I, I know that. <laughs> right. So it, it was really like this. Your slider there. You can start yeah. right now. Okay. So uh, let's start with Room Cloud. So, well, I will be quite fast. Uh, so, Room Cloud is a channel manager and booking engine used by 5,000 properties in 95 countries. The channel manager and booking engine is quite a common tool now, uh, but still essential for mainly hotels and revenue managers. We are connected to more than 400 OTAs and more than 200 PMS, more than 15 payment gateways, and more uh, softwares. And I insist on this more because we really concentrate ourselves on the channel manager and booking engine. We don't want to go and do more uh, softwares because there are a lot of good companies that do a lot of good things. So for example, for Nova and Windex that we had before. And uh, so we, we prefer to use those systems, the best systems on the market to connect with our channel manager and book engine. We don't want to do uh, something else. So basically because we really concentrate on the channel manager with new features monthly. And uh, in the booking engine, we will give, uh, we will put out a new version of our booking engine in May uh, so we needed it, a brand new booking engine. Uh, the question is, how can the channel manager, how can channel manager can help revenue managers? Uh, well, it's very easy. Uh, it's a simple question, simple answer. It's flexibility, speed, and knowledge. What does that mean? Well, uh, we'll be quite fast on those first points. Uh, flexibility, so on sub sales. That means that, for example, you need to, to be reactive when you use a channel manager. So you need to. Uh, to update your price and your stop sales and your availability as fast as you can. So you can easily uh, put a stop sale on a particular uh, rate and room and, uh, and a channel. So you need, for example, to put all, to close the non referable rate on all channels and to leave only the standard rate open on your website and not on the other channels because it's the last room that you have. Uh, flexibility on updates. So we, you need to go fast and make uh, Bios pay, pay at the same time, you can choose a date, you can specify your value, which means you put 200 euros, it sends 200 euros. A variation, you put plus 10, minus 10 euros, it will uh, change the price accordingly. Accordingly, And you can specify factors, so you can say for this period, I want plus 10%, for example. So you can you, you need to go very fast when you when you move your, your rates. Flexibility and managing, so if this is a bit special, uh, we can connect a lot of, uh, uh, Booking.com, Agoda, whatever Expedia, whatever you use uh, inside one account of uh, of, uh, of Room Cloud. So we have, for example, uh, uh, an owner of two hotels that manage all these uh, is two hotels inside one account of Room Cloud. So he doesn't need to go and have multiple windows open. You just have all in one calendar. Uh, flexibility and rules. I will speak with you a bit more about this business and review rules. So, for example, you need. Uh, when you update your rates, you need to go fast, as, you, as I said. So you need to make things automatic. So, for example, you can say that your not refundable rate is minus 10% always than your standard rate, but you can make some changes uh, based on, on, the, on the season. So you can say, for example, in September and October, it's minus 5%, and in November, it's minus 20%. So you can already prepare all your uh, changes during the months, uh, and, and it will go automatic. You can do the same things for the portals, so for so the channels. Uh, so you put them in the calendar 100 euros, but you send minus 5 euros to, uh, so 95 euros to Agoda, uh, which is a bit stupid, but you can send uh, plus 10% to Booking. Uh, you can send plus 20 euros to Expedia and whatever. And you can do the same per season. So you can say that in winter, you, you, you put the same price plus 5 euros, and in summer, you, you add plus 20 euros. It depends on what you want to do. Uh, revenue rules, so it's not a revenue management system, it's just automatization of changing in a, of updates in, in the system. So you can say, for example, that the system each 12 hours will look at the next seven days, and if you have more than five euro rooms available, it will automatically decrease the price uh, 10 euros at, at a time. So every 10 hours, it will go down 10 euros until a minimum of 60 euros in this example. On the contrary, if you have less than three rooms available, it will higher the price until a maximum you, you, you decide. Or you can make a rule that uh, the system will automatically close the uh, availability of the channels when you have one room available. So to leave it automatically open only on your website to have direct to, to try to have it directly on your website. Flexibility on payments. So we are we are connected to payment gateways. So with some payment gateways, 
you can already uh, prepare your payment rules inside uh, RoomCloud. So the payment gateway will take the money directly from uh, the credit card uh, according to the rules you, you fixed in, uh, in RoomCloud. So you can just do it by amount, percentage, or nights, or whatever you want, on one single uh, rate, on all rates, on whatever you want. Uh, speed and content. So this is quite a nice part. Uh, we know that for hotels, uh, it's very, it's a pain really to change uh, the photos, uh, the descriptions, the rates, the names, everything. So you can, when you change, when you make a change in Room Cloud, you can then choose and click on the things you change inside this window, and you can send it directly to Airbnb, Expedia, and Booking.com. So no, it's just on this uh, website because the owners don't accept it. Uh, but you can do, um, you just modify your photo, you just click on the photo and you will, you will send it automatically to all, all these free channels. So you don't need to do it one by one to initial it. So you go, you go faster when you make changes and you can make more changes. Um, speed on configuration because you can uh, directly, if you want to make some booking.com offers, you can do it directly inside Room Cloud. You don't need to go to booking.com anymore. You can see and, re and insert the reviews from booking.com directly inside this. You can uh, manage your Airbnb listing from inside Room Cloud. You can answer messages from Airbnb directly from, uh, from here. Knowledge and campaign KPI, because we have some dashboard where you can see your, uh, well, what is the check-in, check-out new uh, reservations, revenue room nights at the air, top channel selling your, country, your, your rooms, top country buying your rooms, etc. inside the dashboard when you enter. But you can go in deeply into details for the uh, booking engine with uh, uh, next 30 days, last 30 days, and the trend for, for the year. You see uh, uh, some information about the conversion, what device they use, what language they use to look for uh, in your booking engine, where do uh, they stop, to where, where they leave uh, the booking engine. Check-in pressure is quite interesting. It's all the dates which are uh, looking for on your booking engine, not with reservations, but all. Uh, so you can say, for example, that you know that there is a lot of research for the 11th of April, so you maybe need to uh, make an offer or, at the contrary, uh, uh, put higher the price. You can uh, manage your uh, meta search, so you can see uh, activated directly from here. You can see what is activated and you can see your uh, uh, results. We do regularly some reports for our clients. Uh, so this one, for example, was for France. So we, we, we see, if you look at the orange line, that uh, the reservations are a disaster for now, uh, but which is quite interesting, the uh, average daily rate and the uh, length of stay are very much higher than the rest of the, uh, the other years. Uh, so there is not a warm price yet, what I see, we see. Uh, at the contrary, the people are paying more than, than other years. What we are going to do next, uh, we are going to make an in marketplace, so not the usual marketplace for PMS, RMS, and, and all these tools. It will be something different. We'll see that. I don't want to speak too much about that. Um, not yet. Uh, we are going to make a data dashboard, so uh, with our data and data from other companies we are speaking to, we are going to make together uh, a huge uh, lake of data about the destination of the hotel so we can have more an insight of more things inside. We are adding a, a, uh, always more uh, KPI in dash the dashboard. We are going to make a new rate chopper, not as developed as for Nova, but a nice one. We will rebuild our mapping menu so you, the hotel can uh, easily map the rooms from uh, the, the, the channels uh, more is more faster and more easy to do it, easier to do it. And we will add more features uh, that I can't say now, but we will see in the, in the next future. Uh, this is just a small screenshot, the first screenshot we have from our new uh, booking engine. So forgive me for the graphic, it's a bit, it's just the beginning, it will be ready in, in May, uh, but more or less it will be, it will be this kind of, of, of visual. And I have finished, so if you have profound questions, I am more than happy to answer you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvain. Right. I will leave Jonathan. Maybe you have some some interesting, you know, we want to put in uncomfortable zone, Sylvain, please. <laughs> I will leave. I will leave. <laughs> Good to see that um, there's so many different features within the system, in particular the new booking engine. We've spent a lot of time today <clears throat> talking about personalization and and making the customer journey unique for, for our customers. How much personalization would someone have within that new booking engine that you're you're creating 
Well, uh, the simple one, simple part, it will be a personalization on all the colors. You can choose whatever you want inside. You can choose all the features you want to put inside. Uh, we will put some, for example, some filters uh, when the clients want to look for, for the room. So you can put a filter on your rooms. So you say, for example, if you have balcony or kitchen or whatever, you can put some filters so the clients just choose easily uh, from the beginning. So that's the easy part. For the customer journey, uh, we'll try to make more of that, more, um, how do you say, uh, facilities like voucher, loyalty program. We are not sure yet if we are going to make it all by ourselves, but we are going. We are speaking with some companies to include to inside to ins to, to put inside our our booking engine uh, for upselling, for uh, check-in, for for whatever. Uh, so I can't say much yet because we are really in it. But we, we basically we made a research on all the things that were done yet now on the market, and we are going to put all inside. So I don't want to say too much because we are speaking with a lot of, of, of company, a lot of companies around. Um, but yeah, we will we will try to personalize it at, at the maximum that the market can do now. Cool. Thank it you. Be just to just to, to be prepared for yeah, the sure, sure. it, it uh, uh, in May will be the first versions, and all the add-ons will come slowly on it. So, but you will see a progression. Yeah. Cool. Sylvia, uh, but I'm more than happy to if, if hotels or if you have some suggestions of things to add inside, I'm more than happy to. It's the time now to ask us, and we will put it in our. That, that is going to be crazy. Eh? Don't don't ask people to suggest modification and personalization, customization. This is going to be crazy for you guys. <laughs> you know, I know, but we love that. So let's. Right. See. Sylvia, do you have a question? Yeah, he, he kind of already answered, but my, my curiosity was uh, after the pandemic, what did you see your customers asking for in terms of priority uh, of services that you offer with your channel manager and booking engine? Because I see that you have a lot of reporting, a lot of data. So what did you see? Did you see any change in the way they approach and they use the tool? And if so, yeah. what is Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, the, the first thing we, we see, uh, we saw that uh, they start to realize that they need to, to to, to re redefine the distribution. So that's why we are doing now a lot of reports and why we are going to add more data inside, inside the room cloud, because they need to know what are the uh, channels or OTA or GDS or whatever, what are they doing now? What are they doing for uh, in terms of resolution in this area? So they are asking us a lot more uh, of advices about what to, what to use to sell out their room. So the first uh, thing, that's why we are going to make uh, a new tool inside our uh, room cloud to look for exactly uh, the channels you need for you, what you're looking for. If you need corporate, leisure, family, French, Spanish, whatever, you will have a tool to say, okay, I want this criteria and we'll give you a list of the channels uh, that you need maybe uh, and with some statistics about if they're doing well or not. Uh, because what we are doing, what we are uh, Speaking to them now is that it's good to have volume, the volume makers, uh, Booking.com, Expedia, etc. But you need to see as well all the uh, quality makers, which say uh, longer stay, higher rates, less cancellations. So, but they don't know which one they are. So we, yeah, need, we are giving them now all these details. So we are, they are asking a lot. We are making a lot of internal webinars to, useful, show, yeah. to show them what we don't make it public on, on LinkedIn, for example. But we make a lot inside to show them uh, on the French market, on the Spanish market, on the Italian market, or in Paris, what is uh, the, the situation now and who is this useful to, to use. Amazing, thank you. Thanks for your pitch, Sylvain. Um, really appreciate it. Appreciate now it. is the turn of moving to the next session, guys, which is not a vendor track. Thanks, thanks Sylvain, bye. Thank you, bye-bye.